Hello people, this is Sandy from Speaking English. I am an English teacher on italki and as a native English speaker from the UK, I specialize in three specific areas of teaching. These being advanced conversational English, business English, and the purpose of this video is exam preparation, which is where the majority of my students actually come from. I can help with a variety of exams, be it SAT, TOEFL and IELTS, but the one that I really specialise in just now is IELTS itself. Now, many of you may be aware that IELTS actually comes in two variations, those being the academic and the general, and I teach and prepare students for both types of this exam. There is a common myth, particularly amongst uh, native English speakers, that this is a relatively easy um, test to get a good level of um, a good grade in the exam itself. And I would hasten to say that actually if many native English speakers presented themselves for the IELTS test, they would probably be shocked at exactly the levels that were required just to get a normal grading and not go up to the, the, the top level, which is band 9. In my experience, the majority of uh, students require a band 6 through to a band 7.5. I've never come across anyone that requires to achieve a band 8 and certainly never to achieve the top band, band 9. Um, as I said, that would be particularly difficult even for a lot of native English speakers. So, bearing in mind that band 6 to band 7.5 is the, the normal variation that's required by the various students, then that gives some leeway to be not so strong in some areas, but as long as you're strong in other areas. Now IELTS stands for the International English Level Testing System, and that's exactly what it does. IELTS is a, a life-changing uh, aspect for those that take it in general, um, whether it be the academic or the general. It could be your entrance to foreign universities or teaching in uh, establishments abroad that may lead to better job opportunities or indeed it could end up with you getting uh, citizenship in other countries where you might want to live. If you are taking the IELTS exam then it's important that you identify exactly what you are trying to achieve. It is also important to start getting ready for the test as soon as practically possible and not expect to be able to do it all in just a few weeks, etc. I know there are uh, teachers on various platforms that say they can prepare a student for IELTS very quickly. Um, that is not my experience and I would strongly recommend that you question that ability, unless of course you're already at a very high standard of uh, English preparation. Remembering, of course, that this exam takes in the all four disciplines of reading, writing, listening and speaking. And it's important that you are prepared for all four aspects of the test because being uh, not so good in one or two areas can drag your whole band level down. And it's important, I find, to make sure that you're ready in all aspects for this exam. So, to be successful in this exam, you need to be dedicated. And when I say dedicated, obviously you cannot spend all, all your time online talking to people like myself. You have to be uh, self-disciplined and be able to uh, practice and work hard at achieving your levels by yourself. And I mean by reading and writing and listening and speaking every day if necessary and, it take, and when the exam gets closer once a week start taking a full practice test so you, you, you know exactly 
what is coming and you you are improving your ability to to achieve that on the day on the day of the test i want my students to be fully confident and prepared for the task that lays ahead of them and know exactly what they have to do and, and feel fully prepared to be able to succeed at that particular moment of time. It is your life and your future and I would suggest that if you want to know exactly what you need and how you're going to get there, maybe you should consider booking a trial lesson with myself on italki. Uh, the link is in the description below and we can discuss where your level is now and where you want it to be and we can make a plan to how to get it there and I'd be happy to talk to you about that. So thank you for watching this video um, and I look forward to speaking to you sometime in the near future. Bye for now.